Apollo 6, was the third, and final, uncrewed flight, of the Apollo program, and the second launch, of Saturn V, after Apollo 4. It was launched on 4th of April, 1968. Apollo 6, was intended, to demonstrate the ability, of Saturn V's third stage, the S-4B, to propel itself, and the Apollo spacecraft, to lunar distances. This mission, qualified Saturn V, to be used in crewed missions. It launched, from Launch Complex, 39A, at Kennedy Space Center, in Florida. It was planned, to do a translunar injection, and then, returning back home, using service module's main engine, without landing on the moon, with total flight time, of around 10 hours. But this didn't happen. For the first two minutes, the Saturn V behaved normally. But then, a phenomenon, known as, pogo oscillations began, which shook the vehicle. Pogo oscillation, happens, because of thrust fluctuations, which causes the vehicle, to oscillate, along its longitudinal side. This vibrations, are dangerous for rockets. This vibrations, cause the Saturn V, to experience, up to 6 G's of acceleration, due to which, there was a loss, of a panel, of the spacecraft lunar module adapter. But it's not the end, of problems. After the first stage got over, second stage had its own problems, with its J2 engines. At first, engine number 2, had performance issues, at 225 seconds, of liftoff, which got worsened, at D plus 319 seconds, and then at T plus 412 seconds, the instrument unit, shut it down altogether. And if you are thinking, that's the end of problems, then you are wrong, because just two seconds later, engine number three, shuts down as well. And in case, you want to know, the fault of engine number three, it's nothing. Yes, engine three, was absolutely working fine, but due to cross wiring, the instrument unit's command, to shut down engine 2, also shut down engine 3 as well. But don't worry, the instrument unit, was able to compensate for it, by burning, the remaining 3 engines, on the second stage, for 58 seconds longer, and the third stage, also burned for 29 seconds longer. But then also, the resulting parking orbit, was more elliptical, than planned. Parking orbit, is a kind of temporary orbit, used during the launch of a spacecraft. The spacecraft remains, in this orbit, for a brief period of time, and then, fires its engines, to go in its desired trajectory. Okay. So do you think, that all the problems are over? And the answer is, no. After the standard, two orbits needed to check vehicle's readiness, the third stage was ordered, to restart, and do the translunar injection burn but it failed to do so. The flight director, Clifford E. Charlesworth, and his team, chose to use the engine, of service propulsion system, to raise the spacecraft, into an orbit, with high apogee, and low perigee, to make the spacecraft, enter Earth's atmosphere, with high velocities, to simulate, the return of Apollo, from the Moon, to Earth. They were able, to achieve a speed of, 10,000 meters, per second, instead of the planned, 11,000 meters, per second. But nonetheless, it had sufficient data, to be successful. 10 hours, after launch, the command module, landed 80 kilometers, from the planned touchdown point, in the North Pacific Ocean, north of Hawaii, and was lifted on board, the USS, Okinawa. The service module, was jettisoned, just before reaching, the atmosphere and burned up in it. Despite the engine failures, the flight provided NASA, with enough confidence, to use the Saturn V, for crewed launches, a potential third, uncrewed flight, was cancelled.